Weeks after multiple U.S. banks collapsed, lawmakers are grilling federal regulators about what went wrong. Members of the Senate Banking Committee held a hearing about the issue yesterday, and today House members will have their chance to raise concerns. Bree Jackson is in Washington, and Bree, members of Congress want to know what caused this financial mess and how to prevent it from happening again. Yeah, that's right. Good morning, Dave, Maureen. So they got some answers yesterday. That's when bank regulators were here on Capitol Hill the first time. Uh, so bank regulators, they say that mismanagement was mostly to blame for Silicon Valley Bank's downfall, but they also acknowledged that better oversight is needed. Vice Chair Barr. The nation's top bank regulators on the hot seat following the recent collapse of Signature Bank and Silicon Valley Bank. For over a year, regulators were saying to this bank, straighten up and fly right, and they never did a damn thing about it. The risks were there that the regulators were pointing them out and the bank didn't take action and they failed to do it. Michael Barr, the vice chair for supervision at the Federal Reserve, says they're examining whether the Fed should have done more and vows accountability if there were any failures in its oversight of the banks. Senators also want federal regulators to strengthen banking rules. Will you commit to using your authority to undo the rollbacks that your predecessor initiated and to strengthen the rules and supervision for banks with greater than $100 billion in assets? Senators, I think you know I was a member of the board at that time and, and voted against those measures. And I certainly think it's appropriate for us to go back and review uh, those uh, actions in light of the recent episode uh, and, and consider what changes. This hearing comes after the Biden administration took unprecedented steps, including backing full deposits for the two banks so customers would not lose any money. Well, I think we've done what we need to do executively. I feel confident things are settling out. Regulators also reassured Americans that banks are safe. And bank regulators say they're investigating the conduct of board members and executives at the failed banks and considering pen penalties such as possible clawbacks of executive bonuses. Maureen. And Bree, is this the last we've heard of these regulators? No, it's not. Uh, so they'll be back. Those same panelists will be back on Capitol Hill today. Uh, they'll be in front of the House Financial Services Committee. And we can expect that they'll face some of the same tough questions and the same frustrations from lawmakers as they did yesterday. Yeah, they've got to get to the bottom of exactly how this happened. Bree Jackson, live for us in Washington, D.C. Thank you so much.